It's nice to love what you do, and I love what I do. So we're three companies. We're Pocono Whitewater, Pocono Biking, and Skirmish Paintball. And the Whitewater Rafting was the first business. It all started 46 years ago um, by my father. So my dad was working on a river out in western Pennsylvania, and he thought, I could do this. So he came back to New Jersey, where he was living at the time, uh, talked to my grandfather, talked to my uncle, and convinced them to help him start a rafting company. How did he know that he wanted to do this? I mean, I heard that he traveled all over, right? My dad graduated college, and then he decided he wanted to just travel the world. So he went through the Middle East, he went everywhere, right? This was back when he was a hippie with long hair and bell bottoms, <laughs> right? The so, whole world? The whole thing, the whole world. He came back and started working at that other company here in Pennsylvania, and that was the start of everything. So you're an adventurous family. Yeah. So how did that include, how did your grandfather and your other relatives got engaged with it? Because I, I know that there are some people of your family members that are working here, right? It's a three generation family business. So my grandfather has passed um, a while ago. My uncle is retired, but my dad still comes to work every single day and he will for his whole life. Of course, he, he started it all, right? Exactly, it's his baby. I'm his baby, but this is more his baby, right? Um, but then there's five of us. So there's myself, my brother, and three cousins. And all five of us are involved in the business. We're all here, and we all have our little niches um, throughout the three companies and what we do. So how is it working with family? Because, I mean, there must be some wonderful things, some ways that you have to fit in, some challenges, right? Yeah. And how do you make it work? I would say generally working with family is awesome because nobody cares about this place more than those of us that are part of the family. We all care about it just so much because it's ours, right? We own it. We get If it works, it's because of us. If it fails, it's because of us, right? So we care about it immensely. But at the same time, you know, family always has those little headbutting moments and, and things like that. But generally speaking, we all just found our niche. So we all have an area that most interests us. We all have a skill set. So for example, I do mostly whitewater. I have a cousin who does graphic design. My brother does mostly paintball. We all just kind of found our little area so that we're not always stepping on each other's toes and we're working to our strengths. How has it brought you closer as a family working together? It's really nice and I think my dad and my uncle set a great example about Work is work and family is family. So there's days that you'll be at work and you might not agree with each other and you might not get along or there might be some disagreement, but then it's someone's birthday and we're having a family dinner that night, right? And you have to put that aside and remember, we're still family and whether we had a disagreement or not, it's gonna be okay. You will also have the adventurous spirit of your dad, right? Yeah. Tell us about it, what's your adventure? your own adventure before you came back here? Yeah, so I went to college in upstate New York at Syracuse University, and I was part of an organization there that worked with women in Guatemala, and we worked with some fair trade organizations um, to sell their products in college campuses across upstate New York. So through that project, I got to know an advisor of mine, um, Professor Nicholson, who's still a mentor of mine. And she knew of this opportunity to work in Rwanda for the government of Rwanda. Wow, Rwanda, yeah. in Africa. Yeah, so I interviewed, got the job. I had a really exciting year working in Rwanda, met amazing people, Rwandan people, expats from all over the world, and um, just got a different perspective that I really cherish. And tell us something that was about that experience that we could show with our viewers and that you brought back with you as a person. I think it's just the cultural awareness, right? So like even here at Pocono Whitewater, we have cultures from all over the place that come. Um, and so it's just learning how to work with different groups of people and, and learning that, you know, just because this is how we do it in one culture doesn't mean that that's how another culture does it, right? And so we, we try to just use that here at work all the time as well as we get tourists from all over the world that come rafting. Who would have imagined growing up that you would go to Rwanda, right, and live there for a year? Yeah, it wasn't even on my radar, honestly, but I'm so thankful for the opportunity. It was just, I, I still have great friends from my time living there uh, that I talk to almost daily, and it was just a really, really good experience for me. And I went from Rwanda when my contract was up. 
I went to the job that I had lined up before. They waited for you? They waited for me. Wow, where was that? What was the job about? Yeah, so I worked for Unilever in consumer packaged goods. I was in sales and marketing and I sold personal care products. So my job was to work with the major supermarket chain on the West Coast. So I moved out to San Francisco and worked for three years out there and, and I managed personal care brands like Tresemme, Axe, Dove, Suave, Q-Tips, brands like that. But you came back. How did that happen? Yeah, so I was out there for three years and the company um, Unilever was trying to move me to Idaho for a promotion. It would have been a great job. At the same time as I was considering that, my dad called and said, hey, instead of moving with them, I think you should move back here and help run the family business. And I thought about it, talked to my boyfriend at the time, who we were pretty serious, and I said, Reed, I think I'm gonna go back. I'll give it a year, we'll see how it goes. And after a year, I said, yeah, this is where I wanna be, so. That's what a pretty serious commitment with your boyfriend. Oh yeah, yeah. And you came back together? Yeah, I came back for a year, and a year later, he came back, and uh, now we're married with two kids, so. Yeah, wow, <laughs> but we know, I wanna know about your love story, because I know that's a pretty, like, romantic, movie-like uh, love story. Yeah. Tell us all about it. How did you meet? We actually met when I was 18. He's from north of here. He's from the Clark Summit area. He came down to be a marketing intern for us and a river guide. And we actually went on a couple of photo shoots together for marketing, got to know each other a little bit. We dated for a couple of years in college, and then we both went different directions. He's a couple years older than me, so he moved to Utah. I was still in college. It was just distance, so we broke up. But even when we broke up, we stayed in touch. We were always friendly. And then after Rwanda, when I got placed in San Francisco, his job had also moved him to San Francisco. No, really? Yeah. So well, it was meant to be. It was meant to be, yeah. And when he moved back here with me, um, he worked corporate for a few more years from home here remotely. And then he actually took over our biking department. And he loves to bike. I have to hear about bikes all the time. It's one of those jokes <laughs> that we're always talking about bikes. Um, so he manages our biking program. We do single day rentals with shuttles on the DNL rail trail. And then we also expanded it into multi-day biking. So we do trips into in bike trips on the DNL and also in upstate New York on the Erie. How is it with the family dynamics? I know you have two little girls working, and is it too much? How do you, how do you keep the balance of not being too much together all the time? We just work really well together. We, are, we communicate well, and we like working together. We like just spending our time together. So I think we're actually stronger and better when we're working together than when you know he was working in corporate and I was here. How do you juggle it with motherhood? Because I know you have two little kids, two little girls. It's a lot, but I think having kids has just made me appreciate this lifestyle even more. I loved growing up here, and I hope that they will too. We already try to get them biking and on the river, um, and so our hope is that we can just give them the same experience so they can see different people and different walks of life and experience all of it and have the lifestyle that is an outdoor, active lifestyle and then they can make their own choices when they're older on if this is what they want to do or, or not. So you came back from your experiences in the U.S. and abroad, mm -hmm. and you pour your heart in the family business, and then you created your own family here. Mm -hmm. Was that the right path for you? Yeah, I, I really think it was. So I get to have this lifestyle, and I get to work with my family every day, and I get to see people when they're on their vacations. Right? It's so nice to work with the public when they're just out to have a good time. They come here happy and we just get to keep them happy.